to Luisa Chirico for being able to be competitive in set number two, but it was an onslaught early, a dominant performance in the end to start and finish for Paolo Bedoza. Six love opening set. And from 3-2 down, she runs off 17 of the last 20 points and the final four games for a straight sets victory. Quarterfinal number seven on the year is next for Paola Badoza. That's a sturdy effort from Badoza. She'll be all smiles now for Chirico. Good effort to come through qualifying. Picked up the quality win against risk arbitrage. But today, again, this matchup on paper is overwhelmingly decisive in favor of Badosa, and it appears to be from start to finish as much. Dropped three games in their first encounter in Wimbledon earlier this year. Drops three games. Pick up her win in the debut at the San Diego Open for the Spaniard. So we'll have a chance to hear from the Spaniard in just a moment. As she snaps a couple more selfies and gets herself ready to start to think about her contest in the quarterfinals, which is next tomorrow. And she'll face Daniel Collins. Talk more about that match in a moment as we wait to hear what Paula thought of her performance Let's tonight. A nice round of applause for our winner tonight. Your number two seed, Paula Mendoza. So, Paula, it amazes me that you flew in from Czech Republic, probably had a little bit of practice time, a little bit of jet lag, and then you step on the court and you drop a bagel on your opponents. It's like nothing. Uh, how did you feel coming in? Obviously, you're very comfortable, but an excellent performance tonight to propel you into the quarterfinals. Thank you. Um, well, I think it's coming to California and starting to play well, to be honest. Um, I love playing here. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I had uh, tough days with jet lag, uh, and, I mean, it's, I think it's nine hours difference, and uh, I had a few days, then I wasn't feeling very well, but now today I, I'm starting to feel better, so I'm happy that I could perform well, and uh, tomorrow I have another opportunity. You do tomorrow with Danielle Collins. You both reached a career high in 2022, so you're both playing great, but as I understand, you've never played each other. Your expectations for that match based on what you know about Danielle and her game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I love her game. I, I've watched her a lot. Um, we practice sometimes, so um, yeah, she's so aggressive. Uh, she's playing amazing. These matches that I saw her, it's unbelievable. She's going so aggressive every shot, so I expect a very tough one. But I like this kind of matches, and I, and I hope uh, we both good, put a, a good performance and uh, you guys can enjoy it. We will be here to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Paula Badosa. Thank you for staying late tonight. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah, they nada, but they loved it. They loved the chance to see Paula Badosa up close and personal. She talked about her love of playing in California, and you understand why. It was 12 months ago she picked up the WTA 1000 event in Indian Wells late in the season.